In this video, we will see how to integrate Prometheus with a Spring Boot app to emit the metrics as well as have a running instance of Prometheus scrap and consume those metrics. Prometheus is an open source monitoring tool. It has a time series database where it stores the metrics. We will start off with a very simple Spring Boot app which has the actuator dependency to emit the metrics. Next, we will include Prometheus dependency to that app so that it emits metrics at the Prometheus endpoint which a running Prometheus instance can consume. We will then change the configuration of a running Prometheus instance to scrape those metrics. Finally, we will go to the Prometheus web interface to see those metrics. I have already created a video earlier on how to install Prometheus on your machine if you do not have access to an instance already. Please watch my video Installing and Running Prometheus on Linux if you want to see that. Here is a simple Spring Boot app I have named Actuator. Here is its pom.xml file which just has two dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Actuator to emit the metrics and Spring Boot Starter Web. Here is a simple Hello Controller which just has a single GET endpoint which simply returns Hello World. In the application.properties file, we have set the server port at 8080. We have two simple properties to enable actuator endpoints as well as show the extra details with the health endpoint. Let's run this app. Go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080 and we see the hello world being returned. Let's append it with actuator and we see the actuator endpoints. Scrolling down, we see the metrics endpoint which shows us a bunch of useful metrics. We can get to a metric directly, for example, disk free by appending it to the actuator URL. All right, now let's integrate Prometheus to this app. Going to the pom.xml file, let me add the dependency from io.micrometer for micrometer registry Prometheus. Let me start the app again. Going back to the actuator URL, scrolling down, we now see an endpoint for Prometheus. And we see a bunch of metrics here. Now let's see how to have a running Prometheus instance consume these metrics from our app. Here is my Prometheus.yaml file, which is the file where you define the configuration settings for Prometheus. Again, watch my video running and installing Prometheus to understand Prometheus and its configuration parameters. Here, there is an existing job for Prometheus where it adds itself as a scrape target. Let us add our app to the target. Let me paste it here. Here is the new job I have named as Spring Boot App. Under the scrape config, I have added a target as localhost 8080 where our Spring Boot app is running. And to the metrics path, I have added slash actuator slash Prometheus. So the full path will be HTTP localhost 8080 slash actuator slash Prometheus. Let's save this file. Open the terminal at this location. Run Prometheus by typing dot slash Prometheus and it's up and running at port 9090, its default port. Let's go to the browser and open the URL HTTP localhost 9090, which opens the Prometheus web interface. Under the status, click on targets. We see the two scrape targets, one which Prometheus adds for itself. And here is our app, Spring Boot app, which now Prometheus is scraping at the endpoint we defined. Clicking on the endpoint, we see the metrics it is consuming. We can search for any of them in the main user interface of Prometheus. So let's pick system CPU usage, go to Prometheus main screen, paste that in the search and click execute. And we see it fetches it from the Spring Boot app job and shows it here. We can also see the graphical representation here. 
In this video, we saw a simple Spring Boot app first. We added Prometheus dependency and exposed the Prometheus actuator endpoint. Next, we configured Prometheus to consume that endpoint and then showed it in action using the Prometheus interface. Thanks for watching.